Hi, my name is Terry Wiley and welcome to Master Chief Paint Locker. Uh, this is a new endeavor for me. I just started a new YouTube channel and I'm hoping you'll join me as I journey along my, my art way and we discover uh, new mediums together. Uh, we attempt to achieve uh, realism in our paintings. Uh, I love the technical aspects of realistic painting and uh, I'm also a 30 year Navy veteran so uh, my topic is almost exclusively uh, Navy military so you're going to see a lot of ships, you're going to see sailors, you're going to see some old salts, you're going to see uh, some naval aircraft and, uh, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, at the beginning of my video I'm going to talk a little bit about the tools and utensils I use to make the art. At the end of the video I'm going to talk a little bit about my Navy experience and, and what this ship means to me. Um, so I'll start off by telling you a little bit about what I use. Uh, these paintings are done, started with a, a pencil and uh, generally I do a pencil sketch uh, and I start off with um, using the Mars Lumograph pencil. Uh, this is an example of, of what I use right here. Uh, made in Germany, great pencil, and uh, I run everywhere from uh, 2H, which is a hard pencil, very light, down to uh, um, a 9 triple X, uh, which is not a Mars pencil at all, but uh, it is the darkest pencil that I use. And, uh, and then on occasion, if, if needed, I'll, I'll even go into charcoal ranges. Um, and then once I've got a nice light sketch, uh, then I'll start rendering it in ink. And uh, my primary markers for rendering in ink are Copic markers. Uh, Copic markers uh, uh, were originated in Japan. This is a good example of a classic Copic marker. It comes with two tips, you can see here. Um, you have a fine point tip and you have a chisel tip. Uh, the fine point tip is great for detail work. It's down uh, fairly detailed. Uh, but when you have a large area to cover, you're looking for a good blending tool, then you're going to want to go with a Copic sketch marker. And so the Copic sketch marker, if I can get a good image of that, <coughs> it has two nibs too, uh, one being a chisel nib and the other being a brush tip nib. Um, brush tip uh, is really great for blending in large areas. You can see uh, a lot of times when I'm working and I'm trying to get a nice smooth color, uh, I'll use the brush tip. Uh, it's also good for blending in. Um, when I'm going for some real detailed work, uh, I'm probably going to fall back to a different type of pen. Uh, and there's several that I use. I use a Stablo. Stablo pens come in different colors. Uh, and they're not an expensive pen. Uh, not particularly high quality, but they definitely do the job. And uh, However, they are not blendable, so you got to be real careful when you use those. And then uh, the other pen I use uh, quite frequently uh, for detailed work is a Micron pen. Um, and my Micron pens come in a variety of different sizes, you can see there. Um, and so I use that quite a bit. Now, there is an issue with Micron uh, and using Copic markers. Copic markers are an alcohol based marker. And sometimes, if you go over a Micron line with an alcohol based marker, you might get a smudge. Uh, so, uh, typically I also use uh, Copic multi-liner uh, pens, really nice pen, uh, really good fine line, and, uh, and it, it will not bleed if you go over it with a Copic marker. So uh, excellent tool, uh, highly recommend them. Uh, a little bit more expensive than what you're going to pay for a Micron, but definitely worth it. Um, I also use, uh, when you get down into some details, you're going to see me use uh, another marker. This is a uh, Faber-Castell uh, pit marker, right, with a brush tip, and um, wonderful colors, great saturation, um, but not blendable and not alcohol-based. Um, they are uh, uh, pigment-based, and they work extremely well but they definitely have a very specific application to them, so you, you have to kind of be careful again how you employ them. Um, you'll also see me whenever we get to the end doing a lot of highlights and some, some reflections and things like that using pencils. Uh, pencils and markers are a really good combination, and uh, the combination I use most of the time is uh, Prismacolor, which you can see here, the Prismacolor color pencil. This one's a white pencil. 
and I also use uh, Faber Castles. Um, now, I'll go into a little bit more detail about those pencils down the road a little bit, so you can you can hear more about those in the future. Uh, one of the comments I always get is, or, or one of the questions I always get is, "Hey, what is that marker you're using that is opaque and it goes over everything and it's white?" Um, well, it's not really a marker; it's a paint pen. Um, again, another product from Japan. Uh, great product, works wonderful. You can get really fine, detailed lines with this. Uh, you can uh, watercolor, or you can uh, marker over the top of this, and it will change it somewhat. It, it, it's not entirely blendable, but it's very opaque, and uh, it works for that application very well. So, I'm hoping that you will enjoy this process as much as I do. Uh, it is a true passion of mine, uh, and I will tell you that I'm still learning as I go along. So. Uh, some people out there probably have a little bit more in the skill department, but uh, you know, 30 years uh, actually riding on ships like this gives me a perspective that most don't have. So hopefully you'll get a little feel for what it's like to be at sea uh, through my art, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy it along the way. Komm Opa her, fahr mich nicht mit einem Trolley um, er schaut hier nur, ließ mich stehen, mit 1,50 an der Kasse hier, bis sein abgelaufenes Kotelett und noch eine Flasche Bier. Dann bezahlte ich sie halt. Das war gemein. Doch zwei Wochen später traf ich ihn wieder. Er grinste schon von Weitem. Ausschauen. Ich sah es nicht kommen. Den E-Trolley. Der fuhr mich um. Direkt 
direkt in die Seite rein. Zwei alte Damen unterhielten sich neben mir. Als ich voll auf die Fresse in ihren Einkaufswagen fiel. Klasse Scherben, Flaschen Wein. Eine der Omas schrie, ihr könnt euch denken. Ich will diese Worte nicht wiederholen. Das Ende vom Lied war, ich stand da in der Kasse. 37 Euro in der Tasche. Die gehen komplett drauf. Für Steaks und Wein und Bier. Der alte Mann lud sie alle ein. Auf meinen Kopf. Und alles sage ich nur, die elektrischen Trolley hier von mir äh, und eine Flasche Bier. So war ich auch noch zu dumm und hab die Fresse aufgerissen, als sie sagten, der muss es sein. Sagte nein. Der wusste doch auch, von hinten an die Knie fahren. Wie das OP immer an der Kasse tut. So hatte ich nun den Salat hier an der Kasse für 1,50. Kein Geld mehr. Doch dafür lud mich Opi ein. Auf die Fahrt auf seinem elektrischen Trolley. Ja, ja. Wir fuhren die Straßen hier. Hat ihn aufgemordet. Es ging richtig ab. Wir trafen ja auch noch den Peter. Wir fuhren Gangster down hier. Die Treppen runter. Doch der Peter war nur aus der Konserve. Wir sind hier aus Leitch und Blue, der Low und der Till, aus Sachs und Keyboard. Fahrer an uns vorbeifuhr. Er hob seinen Arm aus dem Fenster raus. Er hob seinen mittleren Finger. 
weiß ich, ob ihr nicht gefallen. Und gab richtig Gas. Doch leider waren wir in der Nähe vom Stadtfriedhof. Als die Lastwagen um die Kurve bog, das ging leider mit dem Trolley nicht. Wir fuhren mitten auf dem Friedhof. Bagger gerade die Grube ausheben wollte. Fühlen wir in die Grube rein. An der Kacke. Plötzlich rempelte er von hinten an meine Knie. Ich dachte schon, wie geht denn das? That brings us to the end of, of this session. Um, we'll pick up where we left off at the next video. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this ship. Uh, this was a couple of ships ago for me. It was uh, my first tour as a, as a Master Chief, and uh, it is the tour that kind of made me decide to become a Command Master Chief. I was the Engineering Department Master Chief on board the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. Fantastic job, loved every minute of it. Uh, huge shout out to the, the Chiefs Mess on board, a fantastic organization. Uh, I learned so much there, and uh, had a lot, of, a lot of great friends, a lot of, a lot of great camaraderie, uh, and I miss many of them. 
Uh, still keep in touch with a lot of you, and I appreciate that. Thanks for your support. And uh, I'll tell you, the job of a, a engineering department master chief is, is kind of interesting. I would equate it to being like uh, uh, the super of a large building. You know, uh, I had everything from the elevators to the catapults to the trash room. Uh, and and uh, pretty much any engineering thing outside of main propulsion is what, uh, what I dealt with. Um, of course, it was the sailors and engineering department that, that really did the, the hard work, uh, made me look good. All I did was show up and uh, sign a few papers and uh, try to go around and tell people that they were doing a good job. Every once in a while, give a little motivation. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, I did two deployments and um, spent some time in the Persian Gulf. Uh, launching and recovering aircraft and, and doing the, the fine work in the United States Navy. Uh, it was an incredible tour and uh, loved every minute of it. Uh, great captains, uh, great XOs, both of which went on to be uh, the COs of their own aircraft carriers. And uh, Loved working with the chief engineer on board, uh, Captain Spicer, uh, fantastic officer and uh, all around great experience. I highly recommend it if you ever get an opportunity to visit a naval aircraft carrier. Uh, it is a truly special experience. My brother got to come out to this one. Uh, we had a family day cruise and they, uh, they actually landed and, and launched aircraft with, uh, with dependents on the flight deck. It was just amazing to be that close to the action and, uh, and watch it all happen. Uh, tremendous experience to be able to share and uh, overall a fantastic thing. Uh, Anyway, I hope you will continue to join me as we, we look at new videos and go along and, and look at new pieces of art. I'm going to finish this one first, and uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Uh, pretty happy with it so far. Hope you are too. And if you've been keeping up with me, fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Uh, don't forget to hit notify so that you know whenever I, I launch a new video and you can see the whole thing. All right. Uh, Thank you so much for your time, and, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Have a great Navy Day.